welcome back to my sketchbook. This guy. Boop, 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 boop. Today we're gonna be filling another spread. Again, inspired by Sea Lemon's prompt list. We're going to be drawing some mermaids. I wanna play with shapes, I wanna play with colors, I just wanna draw a mermaid. <laughs> I'm gonna be using some of my Ahu brush markers. So I feel like I've been playing it kind of safe with these mermaids. They've been a little bit pastel and like just not bold enough. So I'm thinking if I go into my Ahu markers, which are all pretty bold, that might solve that problem. I actually have already drawn a mermaid based off of a strawberry. Oh, I didn't even mention. <laughs> I'm working on the sixth prompt, which is strawberries. If you're interested in using Sea Lemon's prompt list, I'll have a link in the description. But yes, I have actually drawn a mermaid based on a strawberry. This is what it looked like, and I feel like I could do something different and maybe even better. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I have three lovely volunteers. This is Lucy, Steve, and Tank. My built-in little references. Let's start the same way all good things start. With a mechanical pencil. Now I mentioned I want to play with shapes, so let's start small and kind of think of a strawberry. I mean this could be the upper section of the mermaid and then you could do like that sort of <laughs> i think i've seen something like this kind of looks like a jester i'm basically just plopping a strawberry onto the character with this one maybe not the most creative steve's got these like little pieces that stick up it's kind of cute i do that for my mermaid <laughs> it's kind of like his head just popped up through a strawberry and took some of the pieces with it. The leafy greens. That actually would look cool as armor. I could try that again, but like actually emphasize the armorness of it. Armorness. <laughs> so like, think of it as actual armor. And these pieces could be made of like, almost like seaweed, since it is a mermaid. Or merman. <laughs> this is like the jester and this is like the knight. That makes me want to give him a sword. Like the head definitely needs to be different. We could go like full sort of like Roman centurion but with the leaves of the strawberry <laughs> as the mohawk bit. Hmm. That has promise. Then this ends up being all red with the strawberry. This part's green. This is definitely an example of just letting the shapes that just happen to appear inspire you. Because <laughs> sitting down, I can tell you that is not at all what I was thinking. When I first saw the prompt strawberry, I was thinking something along these lines. Let me see, see if I remember. Basically taking this shape, but using it as like the hips. to so like a little short mermaid. And then I could do something like a top made out of this section. The leaves, I guess, that would uh, keep it modest. So this is obviously an option as well, but I kind of like this one just because it's so different from what I've been drawing so far. This one also has a bit of a Tinkerbell like fairy vibe that I like. Oh, I feel like we have two good options. I like them both, I like them both. How do you pick? Let me just draw them both again and see who the winner is. Maybe that'll help. Maybe Lucy's got some inspiration up her sleeve. Gotta have some sticking out this way. I feel like they need to be larger to really like cover up the bits. And then obviously you need the strawberry seeds here. Now the one issue with this one is it is quite similar to the one I previously drew. I do think it has some upgrades. Like I didn't put all the seeds on her face. <laughs> I think that was just a little too busy. I think it actually, strawberry comes out a little further. You really want to take inspiration here? Yeah, that's better. Hey, hey! I suppose what we could do is just not decide on either and just work on them both. I don't know why I was into with these sort of like vintage cuts in the hair. Let's do a little swatching and find some of these colors that match our strawberry. Grab some pinks and reds and do it here. I like to swatch in the middle because it doesn't really disrupt any sketches on either side. Although I'm planning on using a lot of marker here so it doesn't really matter. Ooh, that might work well for like the highlighted areas. That too. Like the orangey reds will be the most handy, I think. 
keep them in the same order that they are over there so that I remember. So far, I feel like these two are contenders. We're also gonna need like a green. That is an interesting green, ain't it? There's like, there's some burnt kind of like warm greens in there. And then we have like the sap green in the brighter areas, kind of like that color. So then I also need like a warmer green. No, that's not it, that's too cool. We could just layer a little brown on it, maybe. Or maybe these two together. Ooh, that's close. Layering that turquoise ink blue with some dark yellow. What would his helmet look like? This got a spot for the ears. <laughs> then there's those like mutton chops. Greenery. <laughs> there we go. But maybe a little bit more effort. <laughs> and then I was thinking this part could be red. Obviously the armor is gonna be kind of red, so I feel like we can get away with it. Where does the head even go in here? It's like this. Here's my attempt at a man face. Do these parts like come out past maybe? Let's exaggerate these shapes. Mine as well. We're drawing, aren't we? We're not taking a picture. <laughs> there we go, here's our massive metal mutton chops. Where do I put like the strawberry elements? We've got this. We could just round off these corners a bit more. Oh, is there any shapes in there? Help me out, Tank. Come on. I could just add the strawberry texture. Seems like a cop out. Maybe round off these edges too, more like a strawberry. I mean, could just treat it like the top of a strawberry. I don't know, it just seems too easy. Like, I'm not putting enough thought into it. I don't like it coming out of both ends. <laughs> it's a little weird. Let's draw a nice big one so I can add color and not have to worry about drawing too small. Oh, then we won't have room for the tail. My bad. Let's see if I can draw this from a different angle. That's the easy angle, to be honest. I got the strawberry here with whatever these dangly shouldered things are called. I want to say apple it, but I don't think that's the word. Not sure on the metal mutton chops. These things. Strawberry armor. We get the dots. I'll just put that there so I remember. I love the way patterns can like change the way something looks. I was gonna say quickly, but it's not really quickly. Patterns take forever to draw, but they're still cool. Add some like, I don't know, leather to this arm. Some kind of armor to protect himself. <laughs> There's that. I don't know, seeing it kind of blown up, I don't like it as much. It's like, it's like missing something? or it has too much or like I'm not implementing it right or is next too small I don't know could be any sorts of things but let me throw on some color and then we'll see if I really don't like it <laughs> oh, I didn't give him a sword wait there's my sword <laughs> let's throw in some color first maybe start with this lightest pink and then we'll layer it up one of the things I think that is kind of detrimental to this design is that it is, I don't know, a little bit out there. So when you like actually try to implement it in a sort of like defined way, it kind of breaks apart. That is vibrant. Holy moly. It's definitely gonna need some darker elements. I think if I keep this out and kind of add some of this, and we look at this strawberry, see how it's shaded. It needs to be lighter it at the bottom and more rich at the top. So let's start there. I like blend them out. Now this isn't marker paper, but we'll make do. It's almost like he kind of just picks sections and darken them up. And that's just one of the more flavorful parts of the strawberry. This is not blending as well as I thought it would. <laughs> Oops. I feel like the only mistake was adding the darkness right there. The rest of kind of like. I think it works. Can't say it matches this. This is a bit darker. Now for the little dots. They're kind of like a light color on these, but that is like not gonna happen. So I think we're gonna have to take a little bit of liberties. A liberty at least. And maybe just do them in black. I guess we're experimenting here. Let's go. Boop, 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 bloop. We could try a different color. It does give off a watermelon vibe. Let's just try some kind of brown. Yeah, see, that's not gonna show up. Ooh, that helps. Adding a little shading around them. 
Now they are a little too vibrant. Boop, 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 boop. Maybe I should have actually left spaces. And I think they need to be finer, like itty bitty dots, kind of like this movie. Yeah, it's not giving me strawberry vibes. Maybe when I add the green. I think it's because I went with the black dots. Well, we'll know for future. Like it's giving off a weird cheap print vibe <laughs> that I am not living for. Ooh, where did this come from? <laughs> so that would be the strawberry section. Definitely does not look the same. Failed me, Lucy. All right, let's start with that light green for this area too. That is helping with the fruity vibes at least. Looks less cheetah print. Just adding some extra green bits for the fun of it. Sometimes I just do things on a whim. Brush markers get me kind of excited. I just like the way they feel in my hand when you like squish it and play around with the shapes. Oh, and then this up here is also green. It doesn't quite give off a mohawk vibe. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny, I like it. I use this for some of the shading. And then I think I want to use this warm color to add just more warmth, mostly to like the center, maybe a couple of the leaves. Hmm, I can't decide if that looks good or not. Sometimes when I watch the footage back, I'm like, oh, ugh, what was I thinking? So that's all the like, oh, well, I guess this thing. Let's do that the same way. Our helmet. Blocking out the shapes looks kind of interesting. Now this color is a little bit closer to this first color, so it might make for better blending. Let's try something else for the seeds this time. I'm thinking like a white gel pen and then layering it with marker. Cause sometimes when they dry, you can actually layer color on top. Hey, wait a minute. Ding, ding, ding. A little dark for the shading of like the little indents but I think this is already better. I'm gonna add like maybe a light yellow over them. <gasps> this could work. And they're smaller too now. Okay, let those dry. And let's, if this is gonna work, we'll use the darkest red that we have and add the little like indents here. And then we can add the seeds on top of them. It's dry. Alcohol markers dry so fast, I love it. Now the gel pen takes a little bit longer to dry, so that'll be a second. We can go in and work on the face though. I don't know if I want to add any color to the face until I've added liner. Just go in and add a little bit of something something. Nothing too <laughs> crazy. Now those are some eyebrows. There we go, we got a face. Can add a little bit of color. I'm thinking green skin. I don't know if that's gonna be a little too crazy. Let me see what the lightest green I've got is. <laughs> I need it to be lighter than that. If we maybe use the yellow and blend it into that. So like go over it, this yellow color, and blend out some of the green. It'll kind of give the illusion that the whole thing's a bit more green. And if I end up going over the whole thing, that will do that too. Well then, <laughs> I suppose that's always an option. Definitely looks lighter though, like than the leafy bits. I like how saturated this is. Definitely what I was going for. I'm not the best at that sort of art, but I want to be better. So you got to practice it. There's my makeshift fists. Now what color hair? Maybe that like greenish brown. We'll layer the brown first. And then layer that with some green. Just to pull it into the color scheme a little better. Nice. I like it. I like it. I haven't finished drawing that. I don't really know what I'm doing there. Okay, now for the tail, I'd love it to be like this green color. So let me just grab it, throw it in there. I'm gonna do like a bit of this action to give it scales. And hopefully it'll keep some of that texture. I don't know if I should have done a red tail. If this is good enough. He looks scaly. Isn't that the point? <laughs> and now these guys should be dry by now. I can maybe go over them with that yellow color. Oh, hey, that's working. I don't know if I wanna do them all. Maybe let some be a little bit shinier than others. Uh, it doesn't work for up there. I think I do need the lighter color. 
Hey, that works. I do like the lighter color. So this still ended up being more of my trial area, but <laughs> we're getting a good result at the top. Now when you have keep having mistakes and you're not getting any better, that's when it gets frustrating. But when you start seeing some improvements like these, you gotta take the victories when they come. <laughs> and I don't like all the like black. I think that's my least favorite part. It's what pulls it away from the strawberry. Like obviously these don't look exact, but they're closer. I'm kind of thinking the same color as the eyebrows, so... What was that? This guy? Dark yellow. Kind of like feeling it. You can feel the bevels of each seed. Alrighty, so that's what I've got for our little uh, strawberry, strawberrytarian. No, straw, strawmen, straw. I am very tempted to draw the girl one right here. <laughs> um, hmm. What do you think, Lucy? Let's do it. Let's let's draw little Miss Strawberry up here. See, she has a name. I cannot come up with anything for this dude. I really like the way I blacked out the colors and then added line art on top. I think that looks really cool. Anyway, I'm tempted to just color that one. But I won't, I won't, because I think it would look so good right here. That same sketch, don't you think? But we'll do our own. We'll do a new one. Kind of copying it a bit in Lucy's shape here. And this time we'll get the strawberries right! The seeds, I mean. <laughs> I also want to like stylize this part more. I like the idea of the arms being up in the air. Some nice fun hands. Big smiles. And we'll throw a blubfish in for good measure. Because you can't make it through a whole video without drawing him. <laughs> We'll just try and keep this nice and simple. Just a fun sketch. Try not to take it too seriously. I might even leave her eyes dots. That's actually kind of cute. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. This is cute. A quick little finale. I have high hopes for this one. <laughs> I think I will do line art first though. I think this will look good with some nice choppy chunky liner. And curly bits. Okay, let me get this strawberry shape down. Perfect. <laughs> and then just add some fins. Blubfish. Simple. I've drawn him so many times. <laughs> he looks different every time and I love him every single time. Although I guess there were a few that were a little uh, meh. Boom, hands. <laughs> They'll do. Okay, let me erase the rest of this sketch. Then we can throw in the colors. And since we did all the work figuring out the colors over there, that'll come easy too. Let's see if I can remember what the colors were though. Uh, I think I started with this lightest pink. I'm gonna color all the strawberry bits. I think I might just leave it that color without an extra layer of anything. And then since we have no other red on her, I guess we'll give her some red hair. I think I'll keep the fins red too. I don't want them to be green. I think it just, it makes it look like it's a double-ended strawberry. And I'm not into that look, but I will imitate the finny bits. This was the skin color. with that other green as like blush and stuff. I think this is the green I used for the leaves. Although actually, while that's working, I should add the darker bits to this. Now these are the shadow bits, so they can be big. It'll be the little dots that end up being smaller. Hopefully I'm doing this right. I keep getting the pattern off. Eek, it's so hard. Ah, looks so cute. <laughs> I think I use this to shade the green. I can blend that out a bit. That looks good. Except for these weird sideways holes, but yeah. then we can add the white gel pen in there. 
as our seeds. And then layer that, and I think we're almost done here. There's a lot of seeds. Oh my gosh. Voila! I do want to cook while that's drying. I will add a little bit more green to the nose. And maybe the lips, too. <laughs> maybe just shade this a little. Maybe the elbows. Oh, she doesn't have eyebrows. Going in. <laughs> What color should Blubfish be? Probably her skin tone. I think that's what I usually end up doing. <laughs> I must have put the gel pin on too early. It's fading in to the wet marker. Must not have been quite dry. I think I'd also like to darken her hair a bit. Maybe if it's just another layer. <sighs> dry faster, <sighs> dry faster. <sighs> I'm getting impatient. Pick markers because I'm impatient. Layer those with this color. Huh, they're not quite standing out as much. Well, it's better than that. <laughs> I switched to the lighter yellow color. I don't know if it's even showing up. I'm gonna just go a little crazy and add some shading. I think the strawberry just looks weird without it. Thought I could get away with it, but there we go. Anyway, I think that's where I'll leave it. I kind of messed up the seeds again, but Oh well. <laughs> looks like they're kind of unredeemable at this point. But she looks so happy and fun, so I'll just leave it at that. Thank Lucy, Steve, and Tank for being my references. <laughs> Don't forget about the links that I'll have in the description. Thanks for coming along with me as I filled another spread in my sketchbook. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you all have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!